Okay, here is part two of 4.1.1. Remember, how do we find, use, and explain connections between representations? I hope that back in problem one, that uh, part A, that you saw that I went through a lot of effort to try to show how they were connected. And at least between the, the patterns and the rule. Okay, and these others, I've already colored them in, and I'm just gonna quickly Kind of zoom in, Whoop, wrong way. I'm going to quickly show you what I saw. Once again, we're going to try to connect figure number to parts. I saw a square in the middle, a piece on the top, and a piece on the bottom. So I'm going to look at these numbers. Two, two, and that would be two wide. I don't need that one. Uh, this would be a one by three. And this would be a 1 by 4. I'm just going to see how these connect to the figure number. Well, I would see that, say that 1 and 4 would imply that this is 3 more. Let's see if that's true. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that's 3 more. Let's see, 3. 3 more should be 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So remember, in place of the figure number, I'm going to put the letter X. And then I'm going to say how many more or how many less that represents. X plus 3. On the top, that's 2 more. Let's see, 2 plus 2 should be 4. There are 4 on top. 3 plus 2 should be 5, and there are 5 on top. So I'm going to say that the top is X plus 2. Now those are being added because they're just a 1 by rectangle. So if I multiplied it to find it, I'd be 1 times x plus 2, which is this, basically just x plus 2. Now, this side is, a, this is a 2 by 2 on a 1, 3 by 3. That's pretty quick. That is just one more than the sides. I mean than the figure number. So, my rule is going to be Deal with a square first. Notice I'm not using color this time, so it's going to be harder to follow. But x plus 1 times x plus 1, that's basically the square. And then I'm going to add the x plus 2, and then I'm going to add the x plus 3, because those are just little pieces I'm adding on. And so that is how you do B. C. Once again, I see three different sections. I see a rectangle. This rectangle is not, we don't have a square here. And so, let's see, this is going to be, um, let's see, the figure number is one, and that is three, so that's two more. Let's see, figure number is two, and that's four. So they are going two more up each time, x plus two, and it's one wider. One wider, because two, one wider would be three, one wider would be four, so this is x plus one. In other words, whatever it is, x, one wider. Okay, out on the side, I have figure one, I have one, figure two, I have two, figure three, so that is just going to be an x amount. And then, down here, I have two, two, and two. Now, since it doesn't go up or down, that is just going to be the value 2. The rule we're going to get out of it is first we're going to deal with the square, x plus, not the square, the rectangle. Then we're going to add on the little piece here, plus an x, and then plus a 2. Not going fast enough. The rule for this one, oh, I forgot to color one side. We'll just leave it there. We have 1, 2, and three, those are just x. We have one at the bottom, it's just one. We have two, three, four, that's x plus one. Sorry, x plus one on the side. And then this is, let's see, two more, two more, two more. So this is x plus two and x plus two. Rule would be 
x plus 2 times x plus 2 plus an x plus an x plus 1 plus another 1. We could simplify that, but right now we're not worried about that in this unit. So that is D. Okay, here is E. I'm going to go through it. Okay, and the square in the middle. It's what I saw with a couple of arms and a thing on the top. Um, I saw basically one. This is one more because it's two. So let's see if that's right. One more than two would be three. And that's three. One more than three is four. So that is x plus one. And it is a square, so it is also x plus one this way. I'm going to go ahead and write that for my rule, x plus one. It's a square, a rectangle, so I'm going to multiply. Then I'm going to find these pieces. I put them together because they're the same size. Um, seem to always be, but this had two for the figure number and three, so that would be x plus one and x plus one. So I'm going to say I have plus x plus one plus x plus one. Remember, these are the pluses between the pieces, so there's the two pieces. And then I always had one on top. So I'm going to put the one that I have on top. So this basically is my square right here being multiplied this one and this one well you know they kinda look like wings to me so I'm gonna say those are the two wings and then I have one on the top always on this in this particular pattern and so those are my rules um, as I mentioned if I were to use color it would be easier for you to see. Now, if I can open this, I will. X plus 1 times X plus 1 came from the that part of the figure. I also had another X plus 1 and another X plus 1. Those are another part. And Another one. I'm not even sure you can read that, but okay. So that was another way of showing you the rule. Now I'm going to look at this one since we have a little bit of time and see some other things that are kind of interesting. These are all x plus one pieces, and so if I were to redraw this and maybe think of redrawing it. I don't know if this is going to work for me or not, but there would be those pieces, and I'm going to go ahead and leave the one on top, and let's see, that would make this x plus one tall, and it would make it x plus three wide. Let's see if that works here. If I fold those two down, it would be five wide, that would be x plus three, and it would still be 3 tall, which is x plus 1. If I folded these two down, I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which would be 3 more, so it's x plus 3 still, and it's still 4. So another way, or an alternate rule, coming from that, would be x plus 1 times x plus 3, then we have the one on the top. Now, either way is valid. I said that if you can get something nice like this to work, it makes your rule a lot simpler as far as how much you, space you have to take. But it takes a little more thinking to think and count through that. And right now, this is, is very acceptable. But please try to do something to let other people know when they see your posters or when they, when they work with this how you got your shape, where, where the parts are coming from. And that is all.